Conor McGregor is never far away from controversy and his latest, I would say, outburst on Facebook has taken a lot of the media by storm uh, and it has allowed for a conversation to come up which I particularly am familiar with coming from uh, uh, the United Kingdom and know how sore of a subject this is. So bear with me, I will tread lightly on this, but I'll make sure to get across my opinions with Conor McGregor, joined by Jason Rubin. So let's first talk about a picture that Conor McGregor posted which uh, had a, a commentator have something to say about it that McGregor would late respond to. So um, he posted this picture, um, you're looking sharp as ever with his, uh, uh, I like that vest combo look, talking about fashion first, start lightly, but we'll get into the serious well, topic. Uh, yeah, let yeah. me just give a little context for that, for that tweet because what happens is he said, this is awesome, now do gate, and that was his tweet mm -hmm. in which he linked to the top 10 most prized UFC fights. He was like two of those fights, okay. right? And then somebody responded, if you go back to that, I, yeah. it yeah, seems funny. like out of anger, only thing you're selling out is the Irish people wearing a poppy. Okay. And they tweeted that picture. Yeah, so uh, before we get into our opinions on it, let's uh, see what Conor McGregor had to say. He responded to this on Facebook. So, I know where my allegiance lies and what I do for my country. I don't need a stupid little flower with a hundred different meanings to tell me if I do or do not represent my country. Check the facts of its original meaning. All soldiers, all wars, I have... The blood of many nations on my gloves fought and beat on the world stage. You have a pint in your hand and a Celtic jersey on in your local fuck you and the queen. Um, so what I have seen from many articles, which I have to defend McGregor on first, is many different articles have titled their clip, McGregor says fuck the queen. Now this plays into the hands of many people who dislike Conor McGregor, who think he's too cocky, a lot of... Uh, uh, I'm sure media sources have ran that piece and said McGregor says fuck the Queen. And I don't think it, from a professional like him, I would say is acceptable to go ahead and say that. But I can see where his anger is coming from. Now, um, to give a little context before, it's this, as you know, this is a familiar topic with me because he stated it right there. You sit in your local with a Celtic shirt. Now, this stems way back to, to the, the problems between the Republic, the Republic of Ireland splitting with Northern Ireland. I'm not going to get into the politics about it. You can do a lot of the research. As I said, I'm familiar with it. Northern Ireland split now became part of Britain. So when it is seen that poppies are to be worn in the UK, it is to signify and remember British soldiers who lost their life. That is what it's been said um, to do. And... What Conor McGregor is stating is that he wears that poppy to represent all soldiers who have given their lives for a cause that is to stand up for what they believe in. So he is, is, is making a statement that he stands up for all soldiers who fight for what they believe in, right? So in that statement, I, 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 am, I am with Conor McGregor on that. I hate splitting people because it's happened in the UK a lot. There's been a, a, a West Brom footballer who's turning his back when people are um, when people are singing God Save the Queen, um, turning his back and refusing to wear a poppy on his shirt because he doesn't stand with British soldiers because as many British so soldiers were involved in the war between splitting up Northern and Republic of Ireland. So he thinks that's a sore subject and doesn't want to stand by it. Now, I, I, I don't agree with turning the back and I think that's more of a public display to try and showcase what you believe in. Um, if you don't want to wear a poppy, that is... I think that it should be firmly in that person's right to do so. I don't agree either way. I just think that's in that person's right to do so. And as I said, it's a sole subject. But McGregor wearing his poppy and standing with that message, I think is a positive message to push around it. He shouldn't be told what that poppy should represent for him. That poppy represents his beliefs and it, he wants to stand by those people that he believes have given their lives for a cause. Now, people in Ireland uh, like this fan will take this as a, a, as a way that he's tarnishing his his nationalism towards the Republic of Ireland. And most of these people, uh, as he mentioned there, are going to retaliate and tell him that he is not a full Republican Irish national if he wears that because he's standing with British soldiers rather than going uh, with the Republic of Ireland in their stance on this. So he, he, he's basically, he's fighting both sides right there. Um, he says in that comment, fuck you and fuck the Queen because he doesn't stand with the Queen's beliefs. I don't stand with the Queen's beliefs. I don't believe that the Queen should still be in power. I think that she's just there as a tourist attraction. I have never stood with the, what the royal family represent. Um, uh, obviously from Scotland, I'll have some negative feedback on that. I don't care because I, I don't think that she proves any significant value within the political system. She doesn't have any power. All she has the power to do is basically tell the, the next parliament leader, okay, you're in charge. All right, great. But instead, a lot of taxpayers' money goes to throw on things like the Jubilee and like the, the tourist value does bring in 
a lot of money, trust me. But uh, if you weigh up how much she that how much she pays to keep that, um, I would say royal family within the the rights of their, I would say royalisms. I don't really know if that's a word, but what yeah, they yeah. get for being a royal family, then I think it, there's a there's a conversation to be had there politically. I don't stand by the the queen serves the same values what it once did. It's more as a tourist attraction, as I said. But I wouldn't come out pu publicly and say fuck the queen. Conor McGregor is putting that across as a point that he doesn't stand with so people who are going to be bigots. Need, there's something that absolutely needs to be clarified right here. If you say fuck you and the queen, does that literally translate to fuck the queen? Well, yeah, it's, it's in fuck you and fuck the queen, meaning he's he's playing both sides. Like he's he's not with you because you're uh, in in this situation. He might consider well, but, that person a bigot, so he's, mm -hmm. he's not with the queen either, depending on her sense. beliefs. He's with himself. Which which for Conor McGregor's self promotional. Value is not surprising. At least add to this because, A, Francis, obviously you are uh, well educated on this topic, mm -hmm. Protestant versus Catholics, Republic of Ireland, Northern Ireland. Uh, there's a lot to intake mm -hmm. with all of that. And there's a lot of uh, conversation always that we have here and that a lot of media outlets have where they think politics doesn't interfere with sports. Mm -hmm. And here is your clear cut, dead set example of where politics interferes with sports. And when Conor McGregor continues to put himself in the headlines, is I guess my question for you overall is is this something that we should expect out of Conor McGregor? Is there a line that is drawn that he's crossing? Or is this just who he is and we've come to accept that? It doesn't seem like he worried. cares, to be honest. I, yeah, but. he doesn't. And and as you see with his next tweet, which I'll throw to before I answer your question, mm -hmm. and his next tweet he basically sums up I think what he means again without putting it in uh, as grammatical as terms as it should be, <laughs> but this is what he said basically on Twitter. Fuck politics and fuck religion. I just want to swing a few lefts and a few rights for a couple of hundred mil in peace. Okay, so right, to go back to what you said, I think that sta stating fuck you and fuck the queen is crossing that line from a professional, right? But I wouldn't say that his basis on doing that, I'm not going to hold that against him if he was to word it in a better way saying, I don't stand with your beliefs and I don't stand with what it stands, what, what it means to be a supporter of the queen. I have my own beliefs in this matter. And I think that me wearing a poppy represents standing up for all soldiers who give their lives. That being said, that's, I mean... That's not Conor McGregor. That's though. not Conor McGregor. He's not going to stay... He, he wants to come out and stay in emphatic fashion so that people will take notice of his beliefs because he's not going to bow down to anyone. That's part of the reason why he is a fantastic fighter and part of the reason why he's a UFC's dream because he does... has uh, has his controversies. I don't like to see this subject brought up. He will not care one bit what people say. But that last statement saying, F you and the Queen is going to have so many people who are just itching to get on Conor McGregor's back, jump on it. Oh, I said, fuck the Queen. We did not support him. He's saying this, he's saying that. And I, I, I think that can be taken in that context because he's clearly said it. But I think from what I understand, and I'm a fan of Conor McGregor and what he does, but what I can understand is that he's saying, F those beliefs, F those beliefs. I'm Conor McGregor and I stand with what this poppy, what I believe this poppy stands for. That's more than anything else. And, and as you mentioned, it's, trust me, it is a, it, I have been, I've grown up in this subject. I've been to Celtic games where people are singing Irish Republican war songs and talking, and that, that's been banned from Scottish football, where Rangers fans would sing chants of Sir William of Orange and stand up for the Protestant, Protestant side uh, against, the, against what the Catholic side is. And this even came up in the Scottish independence debate. It is thoroughly engraved in Scottish sports culture. And I fucking hate that that's, that's true. I do not want that. I don't know, I don't want kids to be grown up thinking that they have to choose a side based on a team. Support a team that you want to support. Support a team that you like the beliefs of that team. And I understand every team has culture. It, that's, Scott, uh, Celtic historically have a, a relation with Ireland and therefore that's where most of the, they have a lot, a huge fan base in Ireland. That's what Conor McGregor is stating right there. And that's why many people who do say these comments are often seen in a Celtic shirt. And I don't like that that's related to Celtic, that people associate with the, Repub the Irish Republican Army, the PIRA, are associated with Celtic fans because I don't think it has a place in sports. Talk about what you want outside of it, but as soon as it crosses into sports, that's when it starts to influence young minds. Supporters of Conor McGregor now are going to think, because of the wording of it, are going to think, OK, all right, McGregor said it, fuck the Queen as well then. Whereas, and if they have that perspective beforehand, so be it. But... If he was to word it a little bit more, uh, I would say subtle, I don't stand with those beliefs. I think that he has a right to, to, to stand with what he believes. Yeah, I, I, what do you want me to add? I know, I just, <laughs> I was waiting for an applause or something. Yeah. Slow applause, there it is.
in the control room. But uh, uh, that's just my perspective. You guys, I'm sure, have different thoughts on this. Do you think that uh, McGregor was out of order? Do you think the comments he received were harsh? Do you believe that he is right to stand by what he believes? Everything, let it know. We want to have a, a, a constructive conversation on this. I would love to say keep all your bigoted and uh, uh, sectarian remarks out of the comment section, but I can't control what you guys want to talk about. I just think that I would like to have this conversation about this because I don't like when this crosses over to sports, but that's just the way the world works, I'm afraid. So from myself and Jason, subscribe to TYT Sports. Some honest, hard-hitting opinions on this. Many news outlets would actually not cover this because they would be scared on touching on our side, but that's what you get from us.